Exterior, Infinity House, Night, 1898. As the conjurer leaves, the figure of the pale lady watches silhouetted by the candlelight. A second figure and outline of the architect stands behind the pale lady and embraces her from behind. The pale lady looks up to the architect, whose face we do not see, as it is completely hidden in the shadows. The pale lady's sinister grin comes across her face. It is striking and yet satisfying. The candles go out. Dissolved to Exterior, Sold, Infinity House, Day, 2023. A car pulls up to the same Queen Anne house, only it has not changed. It still looks as pristine as it did in 1898, as though just built. There is a for sale sign outside the home, which now has a layered sign over it reading sold. The car stops next to another vehicle already there. Two people get out, one from each car. The realtor, late 20s, early 30s, she gets out of the driver's side dressed in a full suit. As the soothsayer gets out dressed in casual clothes, carrying a bag. Got everything? Yes. Follow me. The realtor grabs keys out as they both walk up to the house, as the soothsayer looks at the outside of it introspectively. As they reach the front door, the realtor unlocks the door, but it doesn't open. Huh. Won't open. Sorry. Give me a moment. Sure. The realtor locks and unlocks the door a couple of times and tries to push open the door. The soothsayer backs up a little to get a better look at the whole house. A gentle creaking sound is heard as the soothsayer gets lost in the moment. Ha! Ah, there we go. The realtor turns the knob and the door opens. I'll have to get someone to take a look at the door. Interior, Infinity House. The realtor and soothsayer enter the home. As the realtor enters, frustration comes across her face as she notices an altar is still there, looking recently used. Soothsayer continues to take in this majestic home as they enter. How long is it going to take? It will take as long as it takes. The buyers will be moving tomorrow. I'm hoping we can move this along. You called for the best at cleansing spaces. The best takes their time. Fine. As the soothsayer opens their bag and walks around the house, checking things out, the realtor notices the altar. Damn it. These stupid kids. Could you take this crap with you? How long has that been here? It wasn't here last week. The soothsayer goes to the altar. The realtor continues to investigate the house. The soothsayer picks up the cauldron, smells it deeply. No. What? This altar here? There is nothing I can help with. Don't tell me that. This was a ritual. I can't undo a ritual. Can you at least take these things with you? <sighs> Look, I don't believe in any of this hocus-pocus stuff. You should. Okay. Okay. Can you just do something to help make this place have a good vibe? I'm not a DJ. I'm a practitioner of the unknown world. You hired me to cleanse this house. I'll do what I can, but I can't guarantee anything. What has been done here? I'm sure it's a bunch of kids who watch too many scary movies. I mean, this house has been on the market for a while. So what? The longer the house stays vacant, the more people mess with it. The soothsayer walks around a little more, looking about the house, inspecting every corner, checking the stairs, almost like they are a contractor. You sound like the other realtors. You're hired for this sort of thing a lot? Recently, yes. Oh, right. I guess they heard about all the home invasion murders. They weren't home invasions. Sure. Hmm. Hmm? Yes. Hmm. Okay. As I cleanse, I will get a better understand of this house. But this place, at first glance is different. I know I don't believe this stuff, but one of my buyers insisted on cleansing the house. Really? They're dealing with a lot right now, and whatever little thing I can do to help their transition into a new home worry-free, I will do. I really shouldn't disturb this altar. Can you just move it? This hocus-pocus stuff 
doesn't work like that. Uh, but I will take it with me. The soothsayer gathers the items from the altar and puts them into their bag, then proceeds to grab a bell from inside the bag. Now what? I work. Shh. The soothsayer moves from corner to corner, ringing the bell and uttering some words under their breath. When I perform the incantation of Eridu, when I perform the incantation of Eridu, may a kindly guardian stand by my side. By Ningirsu, master of the sword, may thou'st be exorcised. They are that which spawned in the creation of Anu. They are the bitter venom of the gods. They carry terror far and wide. The great storms directed from heaven, those are they. That's it? You just ring a bell in each corner and say a bunch of words? Let me work. Fine. It just seems silly. When I perform the incantation of Eridu, when I perform the incantation of Eridu, may a kindly guardian stand by my side. By Ningirsu, master of the sword, may thou'st be exorcised. They are that which spawned in the creation of Anu. They are the bitter venom of the gods. They carry terror far and wide. The great storms directed from heaven, those are they. While the soothsayer is working, the realtor wanders around and watches the world through a window, clearly bored as the light coming from the window dims as it gets darker outside.